Alright, so this video I'm going to be making some valences. So this is basically how to make valences uh, from scratch. Um, so what you do is you lay out your fabric and prepare it to be cut. Now you have to figure out what, how, what your measurements are and how big you want it. This video will be for, um, you got the curtain here, this is going to be 12 inches in total. I'm going to have an inch at the top then an inch here and I need a half, an extra half an inch to hem under on the one side. Then on the bottom here, I'm gonna have an additional half inch on the back, or on the back visible and then another half inch that's about folded under. This is just how I like to sew. If you're a quarter inch person, you can do it that way. So I have the 12 inches that I'll see from the front plus the two and a half from the top and the one inch because this is equals one inch here, the one inch on the bottom, so that's 15 and a half inches. So that's what I'm going for. Okay, so now I have um, both of them cut and ironed, and you have to press up the side first. So this would be the height of it, not the width of it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and press right here about, so like probably like half an inch, I'll press up and then I'll press down a quarter of an inch so then we get a straight edge. So I'll show you after I have it pressed. Okay, so now we have it pressed and now we're going to go to um, sewing it. And we're just going to do a straight stitch. You don't have to back stitch because we're going to hem the other ends eventually. And then you repeat that for the other side. Okay, so this is the, we're gonna do the top edge first and we're gonna use the iron again. And like I said, I want two inches for the top because I want the top part to be an inch and then I need an inch for the, um, for the rod. And then I'm gonna do an extra half an inch. So two and a half inches in total. So right at the two and a half inch mark, is where I'm going to fold. So I'm going to fold it in half and measure this to be two and a half inches. So once you get to where it's two and a half inches, That's like about right. So then that's what you do is you measure two and a half inches and you do it all the way across and make sure that from the bottom, from the rough edge to where it's going to fold is two and a half inches and then you iron it all the way across. So I'll show you that when I'm done. Okay, so I ironed it at the two and a half inch mark all the way across and it's folded like that. And then we're going to iron it, fold it under a fourth of an inch here. And I'm doing a fourth of an inch, not half an inch like I originally said because I should probably allow more than just one inch for where the rod is and still just keep a strict one inch for the top decorative uh, part of the valence. So, we're going to fold under a fourth of an inch and iron there. Okay, so I have the um, ironed under at the a fourth of an inch, so it's about two and a fourth inch. Let's see here. And I have them pinned all the way, and now I'm going to straight stitch it, and I will back stitch at the beginning. Okay, so I've stitched it um, 
here right near the edge and now what we're going to do is we're going to stitch one inch from here so that will leave us about one and one fourth of an inch for the curtain rod and the decorative uh, top part will only be one inch. Alright so we hemmed this and um, that's it. This is the inside. This will be the front. And so the next step we need to do is we need to hem the bottom. Fold up a, half, a little over a half an inch and fold under a fourth. Now, the good thing about doing your own curtains is you can measure, make those adjustments yourself, and whatever you think looks best, you do it. So you don't have to be exact on things. You can do whatever you think looks best. So I had originally planned to make this, to fold it up an inch and then under a half. But I thought that that would look kind of funny with what's going on on the side. So I'm just going to do fold up a half an inch and then uh, do a four make it roughly about a fourth of an inch on the very bottom. So that's what we'll do. We'll iron it uh, like a, a half and then we'll go back and we'll iron it under again to make it the fourth. After you have it ironed you can go ahead and pin it if you'd like just to give you extra stability. So um, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to go through here and go ahead and pin it. So. Okay, we've got it all pinned, the bottom hem, so we're going to go ahead and stitch through it. We're going to do a straight stitch, and I do at two and a half, making sure to back stitch. And there we go. So that's what it looks like. I was trying to get it pretty close to this inside edge here to hold the stitch in place. But there we have it. That is our valence. Now if you just want a plain valence, you are finished here. So here we have a one inch um, curtain rod and you can see it fits perfectly on that. It's nice and snug here. So if you want it to be not quite as snug, add a fourth of an inch to where um, the rod will go through. But you can kind of see what the valence will look like. And um, it will look darling.